In this video, I'll show you how to create a quick search input for your data table using Vue.js and Pinia stores. I'm going to use this template from a previous video to give us a head start. We just need to follow the installation instructions. I will use a different folder name for this project. Let's call it Vue Search. A few moments later. Now all we need to do is turn this into view components. First I need to install view and its dependencies. And then load that plugin inside vid.config.js. The first component I want to create is the table itself. I'll start by creating a new folder inside resources.js called users, and inside of that create another folder called components. Create a new file called userstable.view. Now grab the entire table from here, and paste it inside the components template. We're not going to use blade directives, so remove this for each. Instead, I'll use v4 to iterate over a list of users like this. Of course, the users property doesn't exist. For now, I'll just declare it as an empty array to get rid of the squiggly line. We can now use dot notation for the user properties. And also remove the dollar sign. Let's now use the view component in the blade template. This of course is not going to work just yet. We still have a few more things to do. Let's wrap this in a div with an ID of app. This will be the scope of our view application. And of course, now we need to create such view application. Create a new file inside resources.js users called index.js. Import create app, the user stable component, and then create the view application like this. Open v.config.js and bundle the index.js file in the input section. Go back to index.blade.php and include the bundle file using the vid directive. Start a vid dev server if you haven't done so already. Reload the page and... Hmm, something's wrong. Let me check the console. Ah, right. When working with vid, we must import create app from view, dist, view.esm-bundler.js Open index.js and let's fix this issue up here. Okay, that's progress, but I still can't see the table. Let me check the console again, and it looks like we must use a closing tag to render our component, instead of the self-closing tag I'm using here. Let's change that and... Okay, that worked. Now we have the users table inside a view component. To display the users, first let's create an API resource class. These are very helpful when dealing with APIs or in this case, returning the users in JSON format. Use the following artisan command to create a new JSON resource. Also use the recommended naming convention, which is the name of the model, followed by resource. Now open the resource class. It's located inside app HTTP resources. In the toArray function, let's return a new array with the desired format of our JSON response. We can directly access the model's properties using this. So let's return the user ID, name, email, 
and all the other properties we need in our table component. To use this resource, let's create a new API route for it. Open routes api.php. Since we are not using any authentication, let's remove the Sanctum middleware. We could return our results here, but it's a better practice to create a new controller for this. Let's call it user controller. Open the user controller class and create an index method. Since we are returning a collection of users, we must use the collection method of the user resource. And here we just call user all. Now we can go back to the route and replace this callback with our new controller, like this. To access this route, all you have to do is prefix it with API. As you can see, we get our users in JSON format inside an object array called data. To fetch the users, I'll create a Pinia store. This way, the users will be in one centralized location, available to all my view components. First, let's install Pinia. And then inside users index.js, let's import Pinia, create a new Pinia instance, and then use it in our app. To define our store inside JS users, create a new folder called stores. Inside it, create a new file called userstore.js. Import define store from Pinia, Axios from Axios, and ref from view. Now use this format to define and export a store called use user store. Our state will be a variable called users, and this will be an empty array. Let's define a new action called fetch, and this will be an asynchronous function. Create a try catch block, and in here we say let response equals await axios get and the API route for the users. Once we have the response, we assign the value of the users array to response.data.data. If something goes wrong, we log the error to the console. Now return both users and fetch like this. All right, go back to the users table component and import the user store like this. Create an instance of the user store calling use user store and to fetch all users, just call user store dot fetch. And now instead of iterating over users, we iterate over user store dot users. And that should display all the users in the table. Hmm, I just noticed that the status classes are not working. Instead of doing this the blade way, we need to do it the view way. Add a class binding. These two classes will be displayed if the status is active, and these other two will be displayed if the status is not active. Okay, much better. We can now move on to our second component, the search input. Let's create a new file inside components called quicksearch. Dot view. Take the contents of this form up here and place it inside the components template. We don't need a name for this input. Instead, let's bind it to a variable called query using vModel. Let's define this variable in the components setup. Import ref from view and then define the query as an empty string. We also need the user store, so import that as well. And use it like this. What we need now is a way to trigger the search. Let's create a new method called search. 
The sole purpose of this function is to call a filter function in the user store and pass the value of query, like this. We will create this action in just a second. But for now, let's trigger this function when we press the button. I'll make this a button instead and then add a click event that calls the search method. I will also add a key up event in the text input that calls the same method. This allows me to trigger the search by pressing the enter key. Okay, now let's define the filter action in the store class. First of all, I'll define a new state called filter users as an empty array. After fetching the list of users, I'll make filter users equal to users. Now let's define the filter action, passing a query as a parameter. First, we check if the query is empty, in which case we just set the filter users to be equal to users, effectively clearing all filters. To filter the list of users, we say filter users dot value equals users dot value dot filter. This takes a callback that passes a single user. The idea is that if this callback returns true, the current user will be added to the filter users array. So let's say return, and here we are going to compare the user data with the query, starting with the name. So user name to lowercase includes query to lowercase. This will return true if the value of the query is included in the username. But we want to compare all the properties, so let's add an OR at the end and then compare the email. Same thing, user email to lowercase includes query to lowercase. Let's do the same for title. And for status, instead of using includes, let's use starts with. And finally, role, again, using includes. So, if any of these conditions is true, the user will be added to the filtered users. Let's return the new method down here along with the filter users array. Open the index.js file and import our new component. And Vue.js is screaming at me because I forgot to remove the value property from the search input. Let me fix that real quick. And now we can use the quick search component in the blade template. We don't need this form anymore. Finally, in order to make this work, go back to the users table component and instead of iterating over users, now we want to iterate over filtered users. Now, if we type a query in the search field and press enter, the table is filtered. All right, that's all for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to click the like button and consider subscribing as well. See you in the next one.